This simple setup using a low voltage power supply can demonstrate how fuses and the earth wire work. Watch what happens to the fuse wire in the top right when we create a short circuit by joining the live and neutral wires together. The large current that flows because of the short circuit causes the fuse wire to heat up and melt which then breaks the circuit. In my enlarged model plug I have the yellow and green earth wire coming in at the top and the brown live wire comes in here which then allows the current to flow through the fuse and then on through the live wire to the appliance. And we have the neutral wire in blue which completes the circuit. All of those are encased in a insulation and that cable then runs all the way to my metal cased appliance, here represented by a tray. The light bulb represents the part of the appliance that actually uses electricity, so it has the live and neutral wires connected to it. And then the earth wire, as a safety feature, is connected to the metal case, in this case the tray. Now let's look at the scenario where the earth wire is not currently connected to the tray, but someone is touching the appliance, here represented by this green person. Now, if the live wire were to become detached from inside and touch the metal case, then the person would be effectively touching the live wire and they would get an electric shock, here represented by the light bulb coming on because the current can flow from the live wire through the metal tray and through the person and into the ground. So that person would likely be injured. Let's try that again, but now with the earth wire connected to the metal case. The earth wire should now provide a very low resistance path to ground from the metal case, so that if the live wire touches it, a large current flows through the live wire, through the case and into the ground, which hopefully you saw melted the fuse. Let's watch it again so that you can look carefully at the fuse and see the large current melting the fuse, which means now the whole appliance is switched off and the person touching the case doesn't receive a shock. Finally, let's swap to a plastic case and think about why a plastic cased appliance doesn't need an earth wire. Because plastic is an insulator, the electricity can't flow through the plastic case, so it doesn't matter if the live wire touches the plastic case because the person won't get a shock. I'll now show you how to make this setup and use it to demonstrate in your classroom. To make the large model plug, all I did was to take a photograph of a plug without any wires in it and enlarge it and laminate it. And then I stuck a component clip onto the front. The component clip has a short length of 36 gauge nichrome wire to act as the fuse. Using an old piece of three core mains cable, I connected the neutral wire through a small hole and the earth wire through a small hole and the live wire I connected into one end of the component clip and then another small section of live wire comes out of the other end of the component clip and goes through a small hole. On the other side of the box lid onto which the plug was stuck, I have got the live wire going into the positive terminal of a 12 volt power supply and the neutral and earth wire and this other blue wire which is connected to the person touching the appliance is connected to the other terminal of the power supply. At the other end of the old piece of three core cable I have made a small hole into an aluminium takeaway tray and I've connected the live and neutral to a 12 volt bulb and crocodile clipped the earth wire onto the metal tray. Green person's hand has a crocodile clip and a wire behind it which is connected to a 12 volt bulb behind the green person and back to the negative terminal of the power supply. I want to finish by thanking Mark Harrison whose original idea for a similar demonstration which he wrote an interesting article on in physics education nearly a decade ago inspired me to develop this version. I hope you found this video interesting and are inspired to make your own version of this really useful demonstration for teaching about fuses and the earth wire.